Welcome to Camp Randall Stadium, where these fans have been getting prepared to cheer on a whole pack of Badgers since early in the morning. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Taking on the 22nd ranked team in the land, the Wisconsin Badgers. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. will get us underway with the opening kickoff. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. So Penn State's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. To the air, it's Albert. He's got the back in the middle. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Takes the handoff. It's Singleton. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Nittany Lions are marching down the field. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. They'll go with a direct snap. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. And the Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pulls it and fires to the left. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. The lone back's got it. Headed to the end zone. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal ahead and he takes it in for the score touchdown Penn State I think a lot of people probably expected to see that right they're playing on the road and you know this is going to be a hostile environment but they've got the better players and we've seen that before and there was no hesitation opening drive they go right down the field they score a touchdown and they made a statement now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic And the extra point makes it 7-0. They took it 71 yards down the field and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Wisconsin Badgers offense will go to work for the first time. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver's going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. 
a solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They go to the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line. They'll have it first and 10. The inside handoff. Plows through the defense. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Looking for space. It's Spike. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. They'll leave it with him. Fighting off the defender. And we've been waiting to see the spin move, and so too had the defense. They were ready for it. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Caught behind the line. It's Henry. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. Right down the boulevard. It's good. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Aller. Trying to get to it. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's cross. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. Running back goes in motion. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. He's got an open man. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Looking for the score. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. This offense has a second down play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. On third down, going up top. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to take the three. It's good.
After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive. Running toward the tape. He would not be denied. Well, we see the home run on offense, but defensively, you've got to do a better job tackling. You've got to get hats to the football, and then you've got to bring the ball carrier down. Poor fundamentals, poor tackling help you with that long touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Ohio State is just getting blown off the field right now in Columbus. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Wants to throw. It's Aller. Coming after it. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Feeling some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out how to slow him down. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. He's looking for a man on second down. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He'll try to do it himself. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. He got it. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Looking for blockers. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the right. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Give to the back. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. Trying to pick up a first down. Wants to throw on third down. Got it in the middle with Singleton. 
And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And those long shots, man, I tell you what, it takes a little bit longer to develop. So as a quarterback, you know you got to buy a little bit of time. Mad respect, man. Hanging in there, knowing he's going to get hit, but still making the big play down the field. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Thrust that arm out. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. The Nittany Lions to keep this drive humming. He leaves it with his back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Number seven. This guy is so dangerous because of his speed. He can take the top off the defense, and he did it right there on the post. Great arm talent, getting the throw out in front of him. It didn't matter how many DBs they had deep on that one. I don't think they could have stopped him. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. He'll start this drive firing. Grabbed over the middle, it's Williams. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out Who's mentally and emotionally the toughest? Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. And the Badgers headed quickly to the line. Uh, how about the draw play? What's the first thing you have to do? You got to sell pass. Everybody believes it for just a second. The running back gets a little bit of space. And once he gets space, you can see he knows how to navigate and get down the field and make a big play. Got three on first down in second and seven. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Quickly complete. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. The Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, running back gets to give. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. Oh, he missed it. No good. And guys still down by four, still needing a touchdown to take the lead. Wisconsin, 13.
Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Aller. Pressure coming. He's got his man. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. After moving the sticks with the pass, here we are on first down. They keep attacking through the air. Got it behind the line. It's Singleton. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Now from inside the red zone. Grab behind the line. It's Warren. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He wants it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A pair of top 15 teams throwing haymakers today. Let's show you the very latest. Ohio State is getting handled right now at home. Someone needs to step in here and throw in the towel. Stop this fight. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him for the sack. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far in Madison, and welcome in to the halftime update. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Camp Randall. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we are just about ready to go in the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. 
Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. And the Badgers want to move quickly. They'll try the run. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. It'll be a run on third and short. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. The Badgers will try to pin them back with the punt. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Now on the return. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. They want to run it left here. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Looking for a man. It's Aller. Got his man quickly. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Caught in the backfield, it's Wallace. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Nittany Lions decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. From the gun, the ground game. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. Makes the grab. It's Pauley. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Second down coming up. Here's the handoff. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. And the Badgers are rolling down the field. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Anthony. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. Wants to throw on second down. He makes the grab. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. That's his second sack of the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm going to roll out away from him. I'm going to double team him, let somebody else beat me. Not that guy, because his speed off the edge is killing me. The Badgers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Off the play fake on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Warren. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll give it to the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Hand off from the shotgun. 
Boy, he's over 100 now at 102 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Shakes off the tackler. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. The Nittany Lions will line it up on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Running it in the red zone, imposing their will and picking up five down to the 15. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Great move there. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And they take it in for six more points. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 31, Wisconsin, 13. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. He's got his man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They'll put the tight end in motion. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. And the Badgers are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Maybe this will breathe the little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas, and that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Unloads to the right. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking to pass. It's Van Dyke. He'll pull it down and run. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Badgers are in the hurry up. 
You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? It's just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Badger! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he showed all of those attributes right there. Ready to try the point after. Blitz the uprights. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, gigantic implications in this top 15 battle today. And check out what's going down. Ohio State is just getting blown off the field right now in Columbus. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. They're trailing by 14 to Nebraska. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's Aller. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. The Nittany Lions will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. They'll go to the ground. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He wants to throw here on second down. They're trying to get to it. Grabbed in the middle. It's calling. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. Zings it complete to the right. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And the Badgers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Handoff from the gun. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. The give to the back. Sweet feet on the move. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And they're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. Field goal is good.
So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Right back to it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. And he just needed a few inches, and the defense was surly and nasty and said, no, sir -y. And the Nittany Lions will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. First down here for the offense. Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. They're going to stay aggressive here. Five wide on second and one. Fires to the wide out. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Second and ten here. They're going to throw it again. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. Defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Getting some heat. Oh, no, the ball popped out. This could change things. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. How about the defense coming up in the clutch? I need a stop. They can go down the field and tie this game up. I'm in, I'm in a tough situation. How do I respond? Forcing the turnover offense. Go do your thing. Get me a first down. Finish this ball game. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season.
Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.